Hello, hello, we are live. Welcome to Lose Weight with Chef Frank. Hello, hello. Uh, my name is Frank Kramer. I'm the host of this episode and I'm the founder of Eat Like a Vegan Chef. Welcome to today's episode. Today I'm going to be baking a banana bread. So I always wanted to do that since a long time, but I you know, ne never came to it, never thought, you know, it's, it's not the real food, but you know what? We all need a little bit of a cheat day or cheat meal once in a while. So I thought, why not? Why not doing a banana bread today? Because it's nice to have something to munch on. Welcome, everyone. Hi, Chuck. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Jaros. Okay, great, great. Good. Um, before I continue, just wanted to ask anyone, um, did you, how, did you enjoy the challenge? Any, uh, any comments on the challenge? Just let me know. Um, I thought it was pretty, pretty nice. It was um, quite successful for, for the participants. Uh, I think we had two candidates who lost seven pounds in seven days, which is pretty, pretty cool. Okay. Great. Okay. So before I start, obviously, the banana bread is made with 99% um, of whole food ingredients, except maybe the maple syrup. But other than that, everything else is whole food plant-based. I mean, whole food and not processed food. So I, I like to uh, keep it this way. <clears throat> wow, Chuck, you're 13.6 pounds down. That is fantastic. Excellent. Keep it up. That's great. Wonderful. Okay, so obviously there are so many different kind of varieties when it comes to banana bread. Um, I chose to do a banana, pecan, and cranberry um, banana bread. Uh, you can actually, there are so many var uh, variations you can do with this. You can do it with chocolate chips. You can do it with... Um, apples, you can, you know, there's so many different varieties, but you know what? Mine is going to be with uh, whole wheat flour, even though I prefer spelt flour. To me, that's um, fantastic flour to use, but I, I have um, quite a whole wheat flour, so I'm using this. Um, it's actually organic whole wheat flour, and uh, yeah, you know what? Let's get cooking. Um, what I'm going to do this different this time is I am using uh, aquafaba, which makes the uh, banana bread a lot more fluffier. And I will show you how to do that. Okay, so first, let me switch my camera, and I'm gonna. See if you can see. Okay, good. So I'm going to use one and a half cup of whole wheat flour. to use one tablespoon, I mean, one teaspoon of uh, baking powder. And I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Thank you. 
when it comes to salt, I know a lot of recipes ask for half a teaspoon. Um, I don't. I think it's too much. So, literally, I, I'm just gonna put in just a little bit of salt. It's probably not even a quarter of a teaspoon because I think it's not necessary to add so much salt because I'm not adding too much sugar. So therefore, I don't need too much salt. I'm going to add a quarter, quarter cup of um, pecans, pecans. Make sure that the the dried cranberries are no sugar added. You see here. I don't know if you can see this. It says no sugar added uh, right here. So it's all natural sugars in there. Okay. Now we're gonna have three bananas which I'd like to mash up before I put them in. Let's see if we can. Now I can see this. Obviously, the, the best bananas you can use are really ripe bananas. These are, they're ripe, but they're not overripe. So it's actually preferred if you use bananas which are really, really ripe. Did you know, did you know that you can actually whiten your teeth with the inside of a banana peel? Uh, they have a natural whitening agent inside in the bananas. So if you rub this against your teeth, Every day, your teeth are going to get wider. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> okay. So now I'm going to use a mesh, potato mesher. But you can also make it in a machine. I'm going to mix, mix it up with a little bit of um, liquid. In this case, I'm using almond milk. Up. There was half a cup. I also like to add my flux meal. I'm going to soak it in water. One, two, three, three tablespoons. And I'm going to mix it up with three tablespoons of water. Okay. 
I'm going to add a one or one and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Actually, that goes into the bananas. So you can tell that I use that I mix my dry ingredients and my wet ingredients separately. And once I have all my dry ingredients ready, all my wet ingredients combined, that's when I combine them. Okay. I'll add some lemon juice. The, uh, the reason why I add lemon juice is because um, the baking soda needs a little acidity. So from that point of view, um, without the acidity, it, it cannot, it cannot uh, rise. So that's very important. So I just mixed my maple syrup in the flux meal, which I'm also going to add into my banana. That means I have all my wet ingredients combined. So now, the most important part, I'm going to show you how to do the aquafari. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure that most of you know this already. Okay, so now I have about half a cup of aquafaba, which I, um, which is the liquid from uh, garbanzo beans. Just put it in my food processor and turn it on until it becomes stiff. Okay. 
you all have any questions. Apologize, I haven't been but you can do it in a blender too. Yep, absolutely. This is a very weak um, food uh, processor, so from that point of view, it's, it's not really uh, beneficial to me. Okay, so now we're going to mix up the uh, wet and the dry ingredients. Let's see if my I think it's too full. One more time, and then it should be good. It, it should be really a bit more stiff, but it's okay. We. As you can see, it's it's almost there, almost there, but it's not not as stiff. So, so I don't want to let you wait too long here. But uh, it should be stiff as uh, egg egg white. And now we're just gonna gently mix it together.
I don't want to over mix it. I want to do the rest with uh, my spatula. Fold it under. Make sure I have enough. Yeah. You know, some people like it sweeter, some people don't like it sweet. Um, so it's, it's really up to you. Um, you don't have to add the maple, uh, maple syrup to it. You can go, go without. It's the bananas really make it sweet enough. Okay, that's good. Perfecto. Um, I'm going to use. This is the the only time I really use a little bit of the spray. If you have a tef, if you have a Teflon baking pan that's fine um that would actually work perfectly so you don't have to uh, spray it with oil and i want to show you make one individual so you can so as you can see I have a Teflon silicone mat. So I'm gonna fill this and then the rest I'm going to put in my low form. So this is my little banana cake, mini banana cake. And the rest I'm going to Fill in here. Okay, that's it. Goes in the oven. 350 degrees. So the little one shouldn't shouldn't take much long. Okay, let me change my camera again. Sorry for the mess. <clears throat> okay. Let's see if you have any questions. Thank you, Barry. Um, yes, I did, Chuck. I uh, I added the uh, flux meal to my um, 
I'm sorry, I added my flax meal to the bananas, remember? They were in here. I mix, mixed all the ingredients, the wet ingredients together, because since the flax meal was mixed with water, I uh, um, put it into the uh, wet ingredients. Yes, absolutely. I, I'm going to post the recipe. I, I use just a, a tablespoon of maple syrup. You can you can go with two tablespoons. You can go with no um, syrup. It's really up to you. <laughs> I have four bananas. Going to make this good. Good. Yeah. Um, Great. Yeah, you know, I mix the, the flax meal with the water and so that the, the flax meal can be activated and act like X, so to speak. Okay. Everything is in. Okay, um, any other questions? Uh, let's see. Can you do the aquafaba? Yes, you can. You can do it in the uh, virtual bullet. Yeah, absolutely. How long to bake? Well, the little cake is probably going to take 15 to 20 minutes. And the, um, the big one, you know, the loaf is probably going to take 30 to 40 minutes. Since it's a very light dough, it, sh it should be done fairly quickly. Yes, you can use frozen bananas. You just have to mash them up and use them the same way. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Um, what else can we talk about? Let's... Um, our next challenge is May 11th. We uh, one day after Mother's Day. Um, yes, Jacqueline, you can use chickpea flour. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, should work. Yeah, I'm going to uh, post the recipe later, uh, most likely on my blog. Okay, and then I'm going to share it on social media. Um, yeah, what else? We do have, um, I don't know if everyone knows about it. We I created a new membership, um, a $7 membership for people who only want to have access to challenges so they get uh, two challenges per month and with all the recipes and shopping shopping lists and recipes um, and weekly videos so that's just uh, for people who are just truly interested in recipes and challenges um, the challenge is going to be two weeks long in may Okay. Um, oh, before I forget, wow, almost forgot about it. I will be cooking at uh, Jane Unchained Saturday at 12 p.m. I think it's 12 p.m. I gotta check it out um, on Facebook. So if you, uh, she has a, a huge following. Um, so when you go to Jane Unchained on Facebook, you will you will see her and um, she has every day she features one chef a, a food blogger and anyone who's a vegan and uh, I'm very excited to uh, to cook for her on Saturday so I hope you will join me then um, it's gonna be really cool it's 12 30 Stacy yeah okay I will definitely send out an email to everyone who is uh, subscribed and <clears throat> And I will um, 
post it in social media as well, of course. So that's going to be really fun. I hope you will join me there and support me there. That would be great. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. That's it. What else we have? Uh, we have, I have some awesome things planned with the um, membership itself. Everyone who's a member, you know, you're in really for a treat. Uh, the next few months, I am expanding the, uh, my, uh, the back of the membership. So a lot of, a lot of videos and courses will be implemented, but I also going to implement a new coaching program which is uh, it's a six months and 12 months coaching program for people who um, want to transition to a whole food plant-based lifestyle and want to lose weight and feel better than ever before. So, you know, I'm really, really excited. Before I had only like a, uh, I had a 10 week program where I would coach once a week, but this coaching program is going to be completely different. It will be more focused on on every individual, but it's also group coaching, the same token, but I will be live a few times only for those members. And I will be there to address any concerns, um, be there to guide them through the transition process. So it's going to be, I'm very excited about it. Um, okay. Let me take a look what Okay, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. What the heck? Uh, how can I do this? Can I? My camera is not as, my cable is not as long to show you the oven. I could try. Let me try this. Switch my camera. There it is. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. So the little one is coming. It should be ready in about 10, 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post pictures of the uh, of the cake so you will see how it looks. Anyone who doesn't want to wait, and I, you know, oh, that's a good question, Chuck. Um, no, he's not. He's not. At least not yet. Um, you know, he's he's becoming a registered dietitian, and well, they. I think the trend is going there, but it, it, they're not convinced yet. Um, what I like is that the, um, um, I call it, what about the, um, the association, right? Um, they're actually recommending a whole food plant based lifestyle if it's, um, if it includes a variety of vegetables, fruits and vegetables, and they said it's absolutely um, you know, uh, perfect, and it's uh, it will work. But in in the same token, you know, they still recommend eating a little bit of animal products. There's a lot of dietitians out there who still recommend animal products. So from that point of view, um, he knows it is beneficial, but he's not there yet. He he definitely believes that a whole food plant based lifestyle is is the best way to go, but I, I think they are still influenced by uh, the academy, that's what I call it, the academy um, of dietitians. So, uh, you know, in, in part because they are, 
they are sponsored by all the big companies, the dairy companies, the beef companies. So they cannot go whole food plant based because it, it will not work, unfortunately. But um, he definitely supports me, and he said it's it's a perfect way to do. Hi, Joe. Oh, was it you who were, who came to um, Clubhouse the other day, June? Okay. Um, yeah, we are we actually. Oops. I'm I'm trying to be a little bit more often on on Clubhouse because um, there's a lot of great educated people up there. Where first of all, I can learn a lot from, and. Um, in the same token, I, I can get the word out about what I do, and uh, it's it's a fantastic social media platform. In the beginning, I I really didn't think it would blow up the way it is, but it's it's absolutely incredible. So um, the good thing is, whenever we post an invitation on Facebook, uh, like we did the other day, you can actually click on the link and you can join. Now it's uh, now you can uh, 30 people. The first 30 people who click on the link can join. So I think that's pretty cool. And uh, I think June was one of them. Um, there were quite a few of our members who, who came by, which is really cool. Okay. Um, yeah. I think I don't want to take too much of your time. I uh, unless you want to see the end product, then you have to stick with me here. Otherwise, we can we can talk about something different if you would like to. Uh, oops. If you would like to uh, talk about anything else, I, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Yes, June, it was you. Okay, great, great. Because sometimes you, you cannot tell who, who it is. So that's nice. Excellent. And Chuck, I know you, you laugh out loud. I know my, you know, I I was hoping that my son would go um, whole food plant based, but maybe soon. You never know. You never know. But uh, I definitely get his uh, support. And um, I'm. I think he will join the, um, you know, Eat Like a Vegan Chef as a nutritionist. So that's going to be very, very beneficial. So that means all my menu plans will be approved by a nutritionist, which is pretty cool. Um, okay. I would say I'm going to, let me just... Almost there. You want to take out two speak and see. Eh, not yet. It's almost. Done. Almost. Okay, if you hang out two more minutes, uh, you will see the first product. It looks pretty cool. Chuck is saying, I've heard that chefs have no feelings in their fingers. No, that's not true. We do have. <clears throat> um, the, the reason why we can we can touch food that is hotter than, than other people is because um, I guess the nerves become 
less sensitive on our fingers. I mean, we, we always put our fingers in, in boiling water just to make sure it's, if it's hot <laughs> or taste whatever soup when it's boiling. And that's fine. If there's, we can also, um, you know, I mean, it's not that we can touch burning stuff, but I, we are less sensitive. I put boiling water over my finger earlier and definitely felt it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. When you when you are at a stove and you cook constantly, you're constantly exposed to the heat. And um, so I, I can tell you that my fingers are not as um, robust as as they were a year ago because I haven't been working on the stove much. This is nothing. You know, when we when we stand on the stove and we cook, when you cook three, four, three, four hundred meals a night, then you have been exposed to the heat. And that's that's quite um, you know, you get used to the heat. Yeah, but that's you know, you see the thing is if you get if you get um, boiling water over your finger from the top, of course that hurts. But here, um, that's all, you know, we are de desensitized, I would say. Yeah. Okay, let me take out the, the little banana cake. This is a mess. I don't like this here. this. That's the little one here. small and tiny just needs to be decorated with some berries maybe and that's it so maybe we can cut a piece out and see how it looks Is that cute? Hmm? <laughs> so you can you can actually tell the moisture. It's really moist in there inside, which is really nice. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it, it's it's. Uh, Oh, that's good. it's nice to see that your smell is coming back, Chuck. Um, yeah, it, it smells absolutely incredible. That was 20 minutes, but I need a few more. So the bigger, bigger one takes about 30, 35 minutes. Okay, good. So that's it for my banana cake. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you made it. I, uh, I will post the recipe later.
and then I'll post it on social media as well. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate it. You came today. Don't forget Saturday, 12:30 p.m. Eastern time on Jane Unchained. Um, it's gonna be fun. Okay. Have a good day, everyone. Be safe and think plant based.